Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers I love you guys. Thank you so so much for everything. All of your kindness, all of uh, you know your your nice best wishes, everything that you guys have been sending me. Thank you so so much. All those positive vibes. Um, I love you guys so so much. Uh, and you know honestly going into this reading I kept thinking to myself, you know, who's angry at cancer? Who's angry? People are really mad, cancer, okay? Um, I feel like this may have something to do with work, possibly. I don't know, but um, we'll find out. Anyway, cancers, yeah, thank you so much, you guys. I love you. And um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate. Toss out the rest, right? Don't try to squish it. Yeah, don't squish it into your world. And um, yeah, Cancers, again, thank you for the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. You guys rock. All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm picking up on people are mad. Why are people angry with you, you know? <laughs> well, it's because you're out here winning. Sorry, I probably should have taken the sweater off, but I was really cold. Um, anyway, you're out here winning, okay? All of these medals is a test that you've passed or so, an accomplishment, right? Or it just could be that you're a leader. You're a leader, Cancer. Okay? You stepped up to the plate. You said, give me that bat. I'm taking control of this game. <laughs> For real. You're like, give me that bat. You're also like um, knocking it out of the park, I feel, when it comes to work. Okay? Instead of working harder, you you found a way to work smarter, and I feel like um, I feel like you're even you're even kind of bypassing masculine energy out here, okay? Because um, this person is breaking a sweat, and you're like wee, but you're flying. You're doing great. Whatever it is you're doing, awesome. You really are knocking it out of the park. And that's why somebody's angry. Oh, wow, they're really angry. They're really angry because they're falling flat on their face. Whatever they try to do, it's a stunt. They try to do stunts, like they try to impress by doing something big, and they end up falling on their face. And so I know that there's a coworker around you, Cancer, that just, they're angry. They're angry with you. Um... You may even, like, you You might not like this person so much either. You guys kind of scrap a little bit, I feel. Yeah, I don't know who that's for, but you're, you're showing people up at work, okay, with whatever it is that you're doing. And there's someone out there, a coworker, or I don't know. It's almost like they feel like they're in competition with you. And... I feel like you're just a leader. You're out here being a leader. You've got all these accomplishments, all, all of these tests that you've done, all these medals on your chest here. You're taking control of your life and whatever it is that you're doing, you're like, give me that bat. That's what Cancer says. Give me the bat. I'm taking control and you just fly. You're beautiful. Yeah, but somebody feels like... <laughs> Envious and jealous of you because they just keep falling flat on their face. I feel like it is a feminine energy for sure. They may try to smile. You know, this is that fake smile. Like, they really have to force themselves to smile. You may even know this person. You know, you, you may know them by this, right? Um, that fake smile. Yeah, they really have to force themselves to be kind to you. You know, yeah, you're a star. You're out here shining bright like a star. Making the money, right? Very financially stable here. Yeah, this person wants you gone out of the picture. They don't like it. It's like they want to show you up, you know, but you're, you're not doing it to be unkind to this person, and you're not in a competition. You just wanted to find a way to work smarter, not harder, and it's a breeze for you here. Okay, but their ideas and their their ideas are more like crazy stunts and they end up falling flat on their face. <laughs> See what I mean? Right? And you're like, I hate cancer, you know. 
but I'll smile in your face. Yeah. You'll know by their facial expressions, Cancer. Pay close attention, okay? Pay close attention to those you work around. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, <laughs> look at you're great and grand and beautiful and this person is fairly toxic and I feel like you guys were thrown into an office or something together or you're you're doing the same line of work or something but you've got all the great ideas because you're being divinely led and their stuff isn't really working because really the devil just wants their hateful energy okay they keep falling flat on their face and you keep winning. You just keep winning, Cancer. <laughs> yeah, uh, somebody here is on the defense. Yeah, they're constantly having to defend themselves because you're out here shining. And it's not like you're trying to be bad to this person. You're just being spiritually led. Look, you're just glowing out here. You found a way to bypass the hard work and still get everything done beautifully. You're just beautiful. Work harder, not smarter. Or work smarter, not harder. Sorry. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like in a way they kind of are trying to get you fired from this job. For some of you. I feel like people come and and try to ask them questions like why did you why did you fall on your face here why did you pull the stunt over here and they have to defend themselves and the only thing that they can use that they want to use is maybe to turn it back on you somehow um i feel like this person would tell whoever is asking them questions anything to try to get you fired they may end up getting fired though I'm seeing them walking out of an office here or something like that with all of their belongings in a box. Going to have a new beginning somewhere else. So this looks like it may be a hater of yours around you that is just going to ruin things for themselves. Yeah, they're just going to ruin things for themselves. Acting a fool. Because you're out here shining bright. It's almost like whatever it is that you're doing you could be doing something spiritual you could be a spiritual healer spiritual teacher this could be someone watching you and is getting really angry because you're doing really well you found a new way of working or maybe you have I don't know it's maybe you're you're if you're intuitive you've got a whole new kind of energy here that you're working with if you're intuitive, you can feel a boost in that energy, a boost in your abilities, okay? It's making you feel much more open. But, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, Cancer, and I keep, I keep hearing that somebody is a baker. Who's baking the bread? Because sometimes I can smell it. There's a baker out here, somebody... Shout, give me a shout out in the comments. But yeah, um, honestly, you guys, whatever it is that you're doing, you're a star at it. Okay, whatever it is. Some of you are painters. Some of you are dancers. Some of you are into sports. Some of you are like really hard workers, like from construction, a construction crew. You're stars. And you're accomplishing a lot because you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You're not afraid of you're not afraid of hard work, but you want to take control of how you work. And how, you know, here's the thing: if you're intuitive, like I said, you're getting a whole new kind of ability here. Your abilities are being boosted. Um, like, uh, you know, you found a whole new way of working here, no matter what it is, right? And you're working smarter here, not harder. All right, what else can you show me here for cancer? Yeah, this person that is jealous of you is like the Queen of Swords here. They're talking to friends. They're, they're gossiping about you behind your back, cancer. 
could be in a work situation, doesn't have to be. This is somebody who's spreading around some gossip about you. Look at you, intuitive little kitten. There you are. You could be dealing with um, an air sign. I've got Aries out here, Gemini. I've got, I've got a lot. I've got um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius. But yeah, here you are. There's this person, whoever this is that's envious of you, they're spreading gossip about you. Now, this doesn't have to be a work situation. This could be family, friends, um, anybody who knows you who feels like they're in competition with you. Okay? But you're out here winning, Cancer. And people are envious because they're trying to do what you're doing and do it better. And they're literally falling flat on their face. This is them. So really the only thing they can do, I feel, is uh, gossip about you. I feel the divine is putting an end to that kind of crap, though. He's not having more of this uh, immaturity, kind of this kind of action being taken. Okay? I feel like he's not having any more of that, the divine. If there's a masculine energy involved. Uh, otherwise, this is just an energy, the kind of action that this person is taking towards you, but they're about to get busted. They're about to learn a lesson, and they could be dealing with a boss here, putting them in their place. Let's see. What else can you show me? Yeah, I feel like this person's spreading gossip and rumors about you. Clarify that. This person's in competition with you as well, but I'm feeling like there's battles being stirred up here. You're being absolutely quiet about it because you're just out here winning. You don't see a reason to fight. You're not competing with anybody. You're just taking control of your own ideas in the way that you work, okay? So, yeah, you're being very peaceful, very calm, and I feel like someone is clearly on your side here, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. You could be high up in a higher position in your job. Um, but, yeah, I feel like people are kind of fighting over you right now. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, I, there could be up to two people maybe that are just talking about you behind your back. They could be getting booted out. Uh, two people, I'm seeing a King of Wands here and this Queen of Swords. You know, feel like they're saying things that are getting you all stuck in your head too at times. But, but I'm telling you, the boss is seeing this. Whoever this is for, the boss is seeing what's going on. I feel like there's two people going down. I feel like it's this King of Wands and this Queen of Swords um, that are going down. Whoever is backstabbing you, gossiping about you, envious of you, trying to maybe copy or one-up what you're doing, but they keep falling on their face. That person and another person, I feel like, is going down. There's two people here learning a lesson to the boss. The boss, because they've seen all of this that's happening here. You know, all the lies they've been spreading to get you caught up. Yeah, there's two people going down in this. All right, what else can you show me for cancer? So, I don't know, This it doesn't have to have anything to do with work, but I'm kind of sensing work here, guys. I've got supervisors, I've got bosses, I've got little meetings going on over here, right? Um, yeah, possible security cameras and stuff, picking up on things that happened, things that were said, the betrayal. Two people getting thrown out. 
and a whole lot of gossip. I'm telling you. Yeah, I feel like not, these people, they may even be like really upset about this because they could have been um, in this situation or at this work site or at this job or wherever for up to six or seven years at working their butt off. Um, struggling year after year after year that they may have even hated it there and you get there look at all these medals that's everything on your shirt okay you get there and you become abundant like very very quickly very quickly you're a star you're like the rock star okay you're the rock star so you know they've been at it for years toiling and now they're they're even in poor health this person's really you know worked hard on stuff here and here you are in empress you haven't been there maybe as long you haven't been doing it as long but you're succeeding more that's why these people are upset because you're a success and and you are finding different ways to do things okay and they've been there longer and have conformed and whatever and they're not as advanced as you are, and uh, you're out here achieving and just shining. And you know why? Because you're paying attention to you. Because you've got this loving energy here. You nurture everything, including what you're doing here. You know, and they're looking at you with this with jealousy here. Look at look at the way look at the look on his face as he looks up here at you, being a star. Do you see that? I feel, you, I feel like you've got a masculine energy here, this King of Wands in reverse. This could be kind of a lazy person, too. This could be somebody who really doesn't want to do a whole lot. That would be this person. And then we've got a Queen of Swords who just tries any stunt they can to, to outshine you and they fall on their face. Yeah. I don't know who that is for you. Just take it how it resonates. Yeah, justice. I'm telling you. Justice, the world, strength. Your justice is coming in. You're, you're out here winning and succeeding, Cancer, because you stand in your integrity. You stand in your integrity. You stand in your truth. You stand in your power. Uh, you're, you're stepping into a whole new cycle that's going to be very abundant. You're going to achieve a lot, a lot of accomplishments here. Okay, you're really balanced. You're using your intuition. And all eyes are, are on you. They're watching you succeed and shine at whatever it is that you're doing. You're a rock star, no matter what. Okay, this is your justice. It, your time is now to move forward in life. It's your turn. It's your turn now. And I feel like these people are upset because you've handled everything brilliantly. Brilliantly. And you have put forth the effort for this. But you did it all with integrity. You didn't go behind somebody's back. You didn't worry about what they were doing. You were only focused on you. You weren't trying to sabotage anyone to get to the top. You stood in your integrity. These people did not. Therefore, they're not in the rock star position, okay? You are. Whoever this is for, it could be work, friends, co-workers, family, exes, whatever, right? But I'm kind of getting the sense that it has to do with work and competition at work. All right, what else can you show me? But they're just, they're kind of having to stand here and watch you shine. Some of them, there's two that may lose their jobs and be escorted out of, out of the building. Because I, I feel like somebody has been watching, the boss has been watching what these people are saying about you to keep you stuck. Okay? Yeah, lies, deception. I'm telling you. All right, what else can you show me for cancer? I think this is more about work than it is for love. I've got to say, cancers. 
Okay, what can you show me for cancer? Yeah. I feel like somebody's going to get cut out. I feel like a decision's going to be made. And there's there, someone's going to get a, a very harsh talking to. <laughs> you know, that someone's going to be spoken to about the lies and deception here. And the, the things that are being said about you to keep you down and keep you held back. Yeah. I feel like somebody's about to get into trouble. Yeah, and then they're going to come and make you some kind of offer, some kind of sweet offer, you know. This could be a supervisor, manager, I don't know, something. Somebody's going to, they may even be forced to come in and apologize. You could be getting offers from other people left and right anyway, but this Knight of Wands doesn't have staying power, but that doesn't mean you're out here getting played. I'm seeing this as a work situation. I'm seeing a lot of people communicating with you and saying, you know, we really appreciate it. You're just going to be getting another trophy, another um, another badge on your chest here. And no way am I joking. They're going to come in with gifts and with love. And they're going to be like, we really dig you. Have another medal. Okay? <laughs> For real. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. I feel like it's all going to work out in your favor. But, um, and honestly, the way you're working and taking control and just flying with work and just being happy, you're getting into your job and whatever skills you're using, okay? And, uh, and you're beautiful at it. You're, you're great at what you do. You're, you're knocking it out of the park, Cancer, okay? I, I feel like just keep doing what you're doing because you're absolutely glowing, all right? And, um... I don't think you're even acknowledging, like you don't even know, I don't think, that there's all of this going on in the background. I mean, maybe you do, but I don't know. Get ready, Cancers. If this is, if you think this is your story, get ready. Give it another couple of weeks here and you're going to see, I feel like some stuff going down here with the situation. Yeah. Um, anyway, you guys, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's little ditty. I was expecting a love reading, but I think it's about work, okay? Anyway, um, I hope this resonates with you guys. I hope it helps. And uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. Become a new Moonie. Yay! And until next time, Cancers, take care of you. And peace out, my darlings.